Hi everyone, it's Janaea, and today I just wanted to share some things that I have bought on Etsy. The first thing is I placed a custom order with Haley. She's Patchwork, Patchwork Paper Co. on YouTube and on Instagram, and she also has an Etsy shop. Um, I did a custom order for a journal, and she also sent me some happy mail. So. I'll just start with those things and then I have some orders from a couple of other shops that some of them I've had for a while and some of them just came in today but I will start with the journal because I'm too excited to wait and she wrapped it up all nice and there was sequins in the box and stuff Sorry for the noise. All right. It is so pretty in person. So I wanted the little tassels that she does, but I didn't want a shaker on the front. I know a lot of people love shakers, but don't get me wrong, I like them, but I kind of just like being able to see the plain paper and um, this is using the Dulce collection, which I don't have, so I was just kind of excited to be, sorry, gotta move that, the wind is blowing it. I was excited to see the paper in person, and I figured this was a great way to support a friend and also be able to see the paper collection. So, here is the adorable little tassel, and it has a little lollipop charm on it which is from the Dulce collection, and then a super cute little ribbon and lace tassel. I love how like dainty Haley is able to make everything look. I, I can't craft like that if I try. And then there's some seam binding closing knot, and this is so beautiful. And it all started because I absolutely adore this little elf guy, and I don't have this collection. So I asked Haley if she had any more of that, and she did. So I asked for a journal with that, and then um, we were talking about horses because she had one charm that was a unicorn, and I'm not a fan of unicorns, but I do love horses, um, like different horse images. Uh, and so she added that on the back, which is, I love that image, it's super pretty. And I love all of the papers she chose. She knows how to just really pair paper together well. So pretty. And I will just do a flip. And we decided on this paper for the inside. And I love it. I love that like vintage. Now, I don't like seeing clowns in person, but I love the vintage images of clowns. Um, there's some music paper, and she did this lovely little addition there, lace, and I will just flip through. She also has a flip through on her YouTube channel, where you can see this. Some journaling cards. Whoops. There we go. Some more lace, and a tag, here it says you are magic, it's so pretty, and I love this image too, and it says you are some kind of wonderful, and has this beautiful, I wonder if that's, um, like from a vintage pillowcase or something. I don't know. But it's very pretty. I love it. And it's a little lace pocket, which is super delicate. And this is what I mean. She makes everything so delicate and dainty. So cute. It's so much fun to see someone, someone's journal who is, uh, we just craft in very different ways. Like recently I've done some patch work with uh, paper pad covers, nothing like this, but we just make, 
completely different things and I love having this journal. So pretty. This pocket and the little elf I love. Macaroons and a patchwork tag which is super pretty. And I love how she does this with, um, there is apparently a sheet in the Dulce collection that is tickets and she fussy cuts them and then uh, does the whole punch to make them look like tickets. So I'm super glad to have those, they're cute. I need to figure out a creative way to add those in my journal. And I have been journaling more so it's nice to have another just beautifully inspiring journal to use um, for once I am finished with the journal I'm working in now. And there is a puffy sticker horse. This is Dulce. Very cute. And a shaker envelope, which is super pretty. Super cute with a little sequin. lace and this envelope would be nice to put um, multiple pictures of my son in I think that's probably what I'll end up doing and ah, uh, the little elf guy as a puffy sticker so cute and the shaker ticket I love this idea it's super cute it's a tool on top and there is the back again just beautiful images on that paper sorry I think someone's mowing their lawn in my neighborhood and then she sent me some just happy mail um and i will show you that there's this this came with the journal there it's, she just added a little banner paper clip and her information is on the card but i will link everyone i can i will link down below and she sent me this little tassel paper clip. Super cute. That will be going right in her journal. Super cute. And here are some open that. Super smart to stitch around bubble wrap for something you don't want to break. Oh, those are so pretty. I don't have any beads like this. They almost resemble glass beads, but they're plastic. Super cute. Whoop. And here is a little flower. Haley, I'll need to make you some flat mail. I think I have some flat mail I made up and haven't sent out yet. Um, this one says grateful. Little tag. And I read this note already. The thank you was a part of the journey. Um, she made this during Ara's Live and she never mailed it. And so she wanted to send me some little flat mail that she made. Super cute. I like this paper. It's a cute trim. Let's see. She has stuffed the pockets. I like how she did this. Um, she made hers a little different than the one that Ara makes, um, and I like it. It's very similar, but the pockets are both on one side here. How cute! And she's added some um, little kind of like tags that she has collaged with. She's added little die cuts and trim and stickers. Super cute. Oh, I love this one. 
<laughs> I love this. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. <laughs> That's perfect. And then this one's super cute too. Oh, those will be cute to add into journals. I love adding things that um, people have made for me. Like I recently used a bunch of the things that Beck made for me in her flat mail to me in my current journal. Keep life simple. Memories are best when shared. Smile. Today is your day. Enjoy every moment. Stop and smell the flowers. Super cute. Haley, thank you for the flat mail. I'll have to make you a little flat mail. I love making these ones that um, Ara makes. They're simple, but I mean, everyone's come out looking so different, and each time you make one, it looks so different. There's a lot you can do with them. And I really like the idea that Haley used here. She hole punched and then added some baker's twine as like a little closure. I might have to use that idea. We will see. But thank you so much, Haley. That was a fun little surprise. And next, I ordered this a bit ago. Um, I ordered some sari silk. And it came with some little extra charms. And um, some extra little sari silk. And the buyer, or sorry, the seller sent a really nice note uh, just saying, I hope you stay safe during this time. And um, yeah, I will put her, she has Instagram, and I will put that down below. And uh, I actually asked Shara Crane who she gets her sari silk from. And she said she gets it from Crimson Heart Studios is the name of the shop on Etsy. And I have to say that her sari silk is so beautiful. I've bought sari silk in the past, and it was nothing like this. Um, the stuff I got before was, like, very brittle and felt like it was going to break. And this, like, it's, you know, it's sari silk, so it's still a delicate fabric, but it, it is like sturdy it's not gonna just rip and tear on me and the colors are just gorgeous she I don't I don't know enough, a lot about how sorry silk is made or like anything like that but if she dyes these she chooses just gorgeous col color combinations and I got this one when I was working with carousel I thought that it would work really well but it would also work well with some of the colors with sunny days and a lot of Maggie Holmes. And then I thought these more um, earth tony colors would go well with pretty much anything. So I love this shop and when I run out of Sari Silk, I will definitely be buying from them again. And their prices are like surprisingly fair as well. So then the next thing I had made a purchase with um, Stephanie. I believe her YouTube is Butterfly Dreams and same with her Instagram. But like I said, I will link everyone I can down below as well. Um, and we actually talk a fair amount on Instagram. But I just wanted to share my purchase with her. Um, she just opened up an Etsy shop. So I've been trying especially with the coronavirus it kind of makes you step out and look at buying through different sellers and I think it's good to support especially when it's someone you know like decently through Instagram and she just opened up a shop and I wanted to show my support but also she just makes pretty things so there were a couple of things that I I had to pick up from her shop and again, very fair prices. So, here's that. And here's her little um, card with her information there. Oh, and she sent me little extras. Uh, this is a little pen clip 
but it is all the sequins. I wonder if that's a trim she has or how she did that. But that is awesome. I actually, in this little die cut, I don't have a pen clip like that. So that will be going right in my traveler's notebook. And then she has wrapped pretty paper around this. I'm sure to protect it. This is uh, one of the things I purchased. And I love it so much. It is so pretty. This is just a crystal that she has looped around a paper clip and I just thought it was so pretty. And it'll go really well with a traveler's notebook that I made. So I'm excited for that. Super pretty. And she will also put my next purchase in this little dreamer coin pouch which is super cute and I can reuse that which is nice and she gave me little extras super cute and I got this um it says moon child it has a crescent moon and some stars again I have a traveler's notebook that I made that has um kind of a theme like that so I thought that would be fun for that and here is, it looks like an oopsie bag. So it looks like she might have given me some off cuts or some things she was trying out and didn't like, but that is cute. I will definitely use these. Oh, a little Yoda. And some stickers. Yeah, she must have been practicing some stuff. Thank you for that. That was super nice of you for uh to include for me and that was that order and then also on instagram i follow paper pippy i will link her um her name is april and she does vintage um ephemera packs she sells vintage ephemera packs and i bought one of them from her and she also added a couple extra vintage goodies for me, which is super sweet. And I will open this up and try to not get the confetti all over. <laughs> we'll see. But I had to get this after seeing... Um, she had done a journaling page using a lot of these vintage pieces. And I loved it so much. I wanted to try to do, well, I wanted those vintage pieces and see what I can come up with in one of my journals. So there's a little pink tag. And a little girl washing dishes, which is super sweet. And I have been washing tons of dishes lately, as I'm sure everyone has. A little milk cap. A pink house, super cute. Some trim. I believe this is a vintage paper coaster. A cupcake liner. Adorable little vintage card. I love hot air balloons, so that's super sweet. Looks like a little post-it and then a pink library card. A while you were out note. Some tickets. And I love how she has everything coordinate so well together. Uh little bill I'm not sure if it's from a game uh, and then this little it's like a vintage stationery and I love the image of the mushrooms so there's that super cute little ephemera kit sorry bear with me as I try to not get the confetti all over, but I'm sure I will. 
And I will just put that to the side. And here is some, this is vintage wrapping paper, which I actually am lucky. I got some from my grandma that I think was my great grandma's. And another little milk bottle cap. I love that one with the orange. A little card. That must be from a game. Super cute. Cute little die cut. Oh, super cute little card. Little invite. This looks like this is from a book. Oh, that'll be super cute. Uh, when I journal about my son's birthday next year. That is definitely what that will be used for. A little label. Oh, I love the fairy. So cute. Sorry, it, my phone cut me off because it actually died. Um, but I will just pick up from where I left off and I will merge the two videos. Um, so my last purchase was um, through... I have this little thank you. I believe it's Flashy May Cottage. I think so. Um, Amy is the seller there. I will link her. She has an Instagram and I will link that below. I bought two fabric bundles. She sells vintage fabrics. And um, I will just go through and show you what's in these. So... Here is the first one, and these are just some little bits of trims, a oh, super cute pom-pom trim. And there is a little hanger paper clip. I don't know if that's, it looks like it might be vintage as well. But there are just some trims. And here, I will just show you, this is all just vintage fabrics. Oh, this one feels really interesting. I don't know what kind of fabric that is. It's um, kind of stretchy. Oh, and this one is super soft. It almost feels like it would have been used for something for a baby. But I have no idea. <laughs> you guys, I have no idea. Um, this is some pretty... It's baby pink or it almost looks like a very light pink here is some more florals it is again that super soft fabric and here is it looks like this one's from a sheet and a little file folder um, plaid. This one looks like everything my great grandpa would wear. <laughs> and then there is a bit of a quilt here as well. And this is the second bundle. And this one is all quilted pieces. Here is the first piece there. That's one little square. And since I can't go thrifting, it was nice to find some of the stuff on Etsy right now. And I love the greens here. Sorry, there are neighbor kids playing outside. Here is another one. This one looks like a flower, like a whole plant. I don't know if I'll pick up. This is a blue and that's a white, but... 
pretty faded. That is super cute though. And the last one here, that is just a gorgeous flower. I love all the different prints they've put on there. Yeah, so those are what I got from Flashy May Cottage or Flashy May Cabin. Like I said, I will link her down below. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone stays safe and well and has a great day. I'll see you in the next one.